Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see a recruitment news from DAE, that is Department of Atomic Energy. Its division called Directorate of Purchase and Store is recruiting for various areas or for various categories. If you have at least 10 uh, qualification, you are eligible to apply. Okay, so if you have at least 10 qualification, I would suggest you to watch this video till the end. Okay, so we'll be seeing all the details, that is the post details, the qualification, the application procedure, the selection procedure, everything we are going to see in this video. Okay, so let's just see the post details first. There are four categories of recruitments happening. First one is stenographer grade 2 with two vacancies. Then stenographer grade 3 with four vacancies. UDC that is upper division clerk with five vacancies. Last one is junior purchase assistant with 63 vacancies. Okay, so This is actually a big recruitment. And also the post uh, or the recruitment is happening for various locations of India. You will be getting posted on various locations all around India. Okay. First, we are going to see about the qualification details. For the first post, which is stenographer grade 2, the qualification you are requiring is matriculation plus stenographic skills. And they are asking for a speed of 100 words per minute in English shorthand and 45 words per minute in English. Okay, so that is a qualification requirement for the stenographer grade 2 post matriculation plus this much of words per minute speed you require okay then the age limit is 18 to 27 years is the maximum age limit and the salary they are saying is 35,400 per month okay so this is also a permanent job okay so a lot of people do ask me that whether it is a contract based job or a permanent job this is actually a permanent job okay so that is the first category it's qualification Moving on to the second category is qualification. It is matriculation. Again, you require the stenographic skills and uh, the speed they are saying is 80 words per minute for English shorthand and 30 words per minute for English. Okay, so that is the qualification and the age limit is 18 to 27 years is the maximum age limit and the salary is 25,500 per month. Okay. So that is the qualification requirement for stenographer grade 3. Next is the third category which is upper division clerk. The qualification is degree with 50 percentage mark and that is any degree, degree in any discipline with a 50 percentage of mark at least. And the age limit is 18 to 27 years and the salary is 25,500 per month. Okay, so that is the details for upper division clerk there is five vacancies okay the last category of recruitment is for junior purchase assistant it is having the maximum openings that is 63 vacancies is there and the qualification you are requiring is actually a lot of people are eligible i'll tell you the qualification details you should be having either a graduation in any discipline with 60 percentage of mark or you should be a graduate in commerce with 60 percentage of mark or if you have diploma also then you are eligible and the branches they are calling are diploma in mechanical or electrical or electronics or computer science okay and also for your diploma also you should be having 60 percentage of mark okay so that is the qualification details for the junior purchase assistant post okay so that is having a maximum vacancy a lot of people are also eligible and also they don't require any experience so it is a big opening or a big advantage for most of the people okay Age limit is from 18 to 27 years. 27 years is the maximum age limit. And the salary is 25,500 per month. Okay. And there is again a, a special update for this junior purchase assistant post. That is they have given in the notification that this junior purchase assistant, these people will be selected. And for the first six months, they will be treated as a trainee. And during this training period, you will be only getting the stipend. And the stipend is... 18,000 rupees plus 3,000 rupees allowances is also there. Okay, so that will be the stipend given for the first six months. And if you complete the training period successfully, then you will be uh, appointed as a permanent job. Okay, that is you will get the job as permanent if you successfully complete the six month training period. Okay, so that is also given in this notification. Okay, so this is actually a special update given uh, in the notification for the junior purchase assistant post. Okay. So that's all about the qualification details, the age limit and the salary details. 
Now moving on to the selection procedure. Selection procedure uh, is like this. For the stenographer grade 2 and grade 3 post, there are two stages of selection. First one is an objective test. There is an objective type examination. It is given 40% of weightage for selection. And after that, there is a stenography skill test. Okay. In that, you will be uh, given some uh, stenographic based examination to assess your speed and all. And it is given 60% of weightage. Okay. So, both this things are uh, taken into consideration for your selection. That is for the stenographer grade 2 and grade 3 I am talking. Okay. There is an objective type test and then there is a stenography skill test. The objective type test is given 40% weightage for selection and the stenography skill test is given 60% weightage for selection. Okay. That is for the, that is a selection process for stenographer grade 2 and grade 3. Now for the upper division clerk, the selection process is having an objective type test and then there is a descriptive type test. Here, for the uh, upper division clerk selection, the objective type test is the level 1 of examination and it is only for going to the second stage. It is not considered, uh, considered for the final selection. For the final selection, only the level 2 examination is considered. Okay, The level 2 or the stage 2 examination is descriptive test and the mark that you are getting for your descriptive examination is taken for your final selection. Okay, So that is the selection process for the upper division clerk. Then the last post or the last category is junior purchase assistant. There also the selection process is same. First there is an objective type of examination. Then there is a descriptive type of examination. The objective type of examination is just uh, keeping for a for as a cutoff to select uh, the people to the second stage. Okay, So uh, that is the selection process and the mark that you are getting in your descriptive examination is only considered for the final selection. Okay, So, these things they have given the uh, notification specifically. And also, if you want a separate video, we will be doing a separate video on the exam pattern and the syllabus of this examinations for upper division clerk and junior purchase assistant. Okay, So, uh, that will be uploaded as a separate video. Okay, Now, next important thing is the locations for examination. So next is the locations of examination. So the exam locations are at Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, Indore, Bangalore and Hyderabad. So all in all major cities of India, the exam locations are there. Because I uh, get a lot of comments regarding the exam locations. That is in which all locations the exam centers will be. So here in this notification, they have given specifically. And these locations, they are mentioning for the level 1 examination. Only if you are getting uh, selected to the level 2 you will get a, a information from their side that uh, which locations they are keeping for the level 2. Okay, So, this locations uh, is for the first stage of selection that is the level 1 selection. Okay, Now, moving on to the application procedure. The application procedure is online. You have to go to the website dspdae.formflix.in That is the website. I will be giving that in, uh, in the description box also. Okay, So, uh, from there you can directly apply online and also, there is an examination fees. The fees is only 100 rupees for the general category. And if you belong to the SCST uh, category or if you are a woman candidate, then you are exempted from the fees. Okay. So, this is a, a big opportunity or a golden opportunity. There is only 100 rupees fees and there is all, also a lot of openings. Okay. And also, they are asking for fresher candidates. So, please do see the notification. And if you think that you are eligible, please do apply for it as soon as possible. The last date. Okay. So, the application will start or have started from 28th of November and the last date is 27th of December. So, you can apply till on or before 27th of December. Okay. So, please don't wait till that. If you think that you are eligible, please do see the notification first and again, if you think that you are eligible, please do apply for it as soon as possible. Okay. If you found the video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do share it with your friends and if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.